All right, guys, in this episode, we are finally hitting the win column for the 2023 season. I am just over 24 hours removed from sending a backstrap burner through that nice public land buck. Uh, and we are back home hunting by the house after a buck we had alpha camp photos of all summer and fall long hitting the rat getter since mox grapes. Uh, this was one of the bigger bucks that we had on camera last year and was one that I felt was old enough to actually put some effort into, was showing up consistently at those mock scrapes we waited all of october to the last week to kind of get after uh, that particular buck in that particular stand this stand is set up specifically for that last week of october so when those bucks are really hitting those scrapes really active um, and the great thing about that stand is it sits right up against a creek um, and it lets these bucks walk that edge um, of that creek bottom and essentially scent check the entire property when we have a north or a northwest wind. And that's what we had today. So we got in, got set up, ran into a few little hiccups along the way. But it all paid off in the end. All right. Well, welcome to... Disaster Seasons 2023 with your host, me. I'll tell you, it's been a wild year. Good part, I've seen deer ever sit. Knock on wood, that continues tonight. The spot we're sitting in um, that I've been waiting to sit in until this part of the month. Bad news from missing a doe in North Carolina. Shooting that buck through the back straps yesterday. As I was trying to do the interview for the first time, I realized that my wireless mic cord that connects to the camera got broke when I put it into my bag. It's been really great. It's been really, really awesome. Anyway, moving on. Tonight we are set up back in the swamp, tucked up where a lot of bucks love to cruise through here to check these woods. And, uh, front side creek here in front of us um, for does that are coming in to eat. Uh, unfortunately, I bumped a couple of does out towards the front of the property. But the reason we're in here tonight is we've got a buck. It's a big mainframe eight. I don't have a name for him or anything like that. He is just a big, wide, heavy eight. Um, he's been in here every other night, pretty consistently, right about six o'clock. Every night, well, on those nights, we've had a north or northwest wind, and that's what we had tonight. And the buck that we're after has not been in here the last two nights, so he is due to come back through here. We're just hoping we get lucky enough to get him to stick to his pattern and we can get an arrow in him. It's a good spot. It is set up for the rut, this spot in particular. I've got a big creek back behind me, which has got a bunch of swamp and stuff way on back. Um, and a nice little funnel uh, that runs out in front of me. Where these bucks like to cruise in this back end. They got cover near them. And uh, they're protected and they can pretty much smell the entire property when we have the wind we have. So, anyway, we're going to settle up, get settled. We got in here late because it's just been going that way today. Forgot my harness at the house. I had to run back to the house and run back out here. It's been a whole thing. So, it's all good. Some of my best hunts have been when everything leading up to the hunt or leading up to the shot has gone wrong. So we can check those off the list right now. All right, time to get quiet, get settled, get still. Wait for the big boy to roll through. Hopefully stop somewhere in that 20 yard range we can pinwheel and get back on the wind street.
All right, so as you can see, we got a couple bucks that have been come through the area on this hunt. Uh, they are scent checking that area where these does like to bed along that creek system. Um, I have a little fork horn that comes from behind me, crosses the creek, uh, and starts working uh, through the woods off to my right shoulder. So as I'm trying to get footage of him, I hear a twig snap, and when I look back to my left, I had this guy standing just under 15 yards. I don't know messing that one up. He was at 15 yards. Put my pen on him. I can see my pen wanting to dance a little bit and I told myself, chill out, bury your pen, make the shot. And we did, that deer ran off into the creek, hit the creek, spun back around, ran back towards us, and he's dead in the creek. I'm gonna get a little wet to get him, but I don't care, I am amped. Let's go! Right now I gotta call the most important person on my call list. Hey buddy, what are you doing? You want to come help me track a big deer? All right, let me get down. I'm going to pack up. I saw where he went down, but I'll come get you first. All right, get dressed. I'll be there in a little bit. All right, bye. I just called him, and I think he might have been more excited than I was. Man, I just don't know what to say. That was the buck we were in here to kill. Without question, that was the buck that we came in here to shoot. When I saw him, I wasn't sure. I knew he was big enough to shoot. But after looking at it, that is him. That is the buck we have been in here to shoot. We have, he has been in here every two days around six o'clock, hitting this uh, rat gutter scent box grape. And it is 5.40 right now. So it is right in that time frame for him to be checking his scrape. He came in, was heading to the rat gutter scent mock scrape. I just didn't have the patience to let him get there. <laughs> he was coming in to check that scrape and uh, we cut him short a little bit. So. All right, for real now, I'm packing up. We're getting down. Go get little man, we're gonna, do, we're gonna get my deer. Okay, then. What are you doing? Why should we yes? Yeah, no, no way. You ready to go get a buck or what? Yeah. Hey, Katie, what are we going to do? I'm gonna go find him. Uh oh, ain't no need to find him. I know right where he lays. I just need you to pull him out. Uh 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 uh, uh not one bit. Perfect. And our buck is right over here. There's a double tree. That buck came out of right here, walked out right here. There's a rat getter, uh, rat getter sense mock scrape that's right up in that tree right there. Um, he was heading to actually check that. Didn't quite make it.
Oh. 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 Lean. My legs get out. All right, well, here he is. Uh, this is the buck we went in this afternoon to get, the one I was talking about in the stand. And like I said, sometimes uh, in the past, my best hunts have been the ones where everything and anything went wrong uh, leading up to it. I mean, we had we bumped deer the whole way into the stand, forgot my harness at the house, I had to run back and get. Didn't get in the stand until super late. Then the mics broke, the mic cords broke. I had to use a backup mic. Um, just an absolute cluster of things that went down. But very stoked to be back on the scoreboard um, and getting it done tonight. Um, would have had two bucks in two days if uh, if I was able to get it done on that buck in the mountains the other night. But I'm not going to do it on the pass. We have got an excellent buck tonight. Um, first buck off that property, we, we've let a lot of deer walk on there, letting them grow. Um, this deer, I believe he's about four years old and just a good, good solid deer. I'm stoked with him. Hopefully it's not the last time we're doing one of these this year. It's been a good year. I've seen deer every sit. Hoping to keep this, keep this uh, good luck train rolling and keep putting some meat in the freezer. So. Till next time, guys. Pen and stick them.